Alright, a very good evening to you. How are you doing? Welcome to Entertainment News right here on YT54 TV. My name is Philin. That is at Philin Zin across all uh, across all socials rather. And of course, if you are a fan of the show, you already know I have the gang gang and studio joining me. But before we meet them, here's a quick reminder. The hashtag is YT54 updates. And what we are all about is gossip. We have celebrity gossip news right here in Kenya and internationally as well. Now we're gonna have some fun to Tonight we are on Facebook. That is at Y254. Head over there. We have a post. Go comment below. Utwambi unawachuki wa wapi na nani. And we're going to be sending some love your way at the end of the show, all right? Anyway, let's meet our gang gang for today. And I'm going to start with a newcomer for today. And he goes by the name... Honest Bantu. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Social media, Just talk to the guys. Honest Bantu, DJ Bantu to show Palette on my Instagram, Honest Bantu. All right. So you're going to be using camera three, and then we have the Mongies, aka Headmaster, in studio as well. What's up? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Niwakati Wakachai. Yes. The room is now officially open. open. Yes. Niapa, hapa, remote. You know? you know? All right. And I've told you, you can be part of the shop by talking to us on our Facebook post that is already up. That is at Y254 channel. Go comment below on the post we have, right? Now let's head over to our first story where former Miss Tanzania, uh, former rather, Miss Walt Tanzania and actress Wema Sepetu has been facing a lot of backlash from her followers on Instagram who think she has lost a lot of weight. The beauty queen got trolled for adding weight and went ahead to reduce her weight and just as she was settling into her new body, trolls seemed to be back into her life once again. Now Wema recently posted a video jamming to a gospel song done by Christina Shusha and Rington as she showed off her new hairstyle but she was forced to delete due to negative feedback she was receiving from her followers and of course we have a video let's take a look right so i don't know Maze, like what do people want mm -hmm. well, name. <laughs> like she was a model and then at some point she put on weight not even long ago semi to last year yes, you do Maze. and then guys were like oh my god you don't even look like you are a model so she goes ahead and does that she's like oh my fans want me to lose weight i might do that for you guys just chill i can lose weight and guess what they are back at it again, like, oh, my Zoom, I lose weight, Sana. So, like, what do people want? Uh, okay, monkeys, I just want to say, when you never go out of your way to impress people in mm -hmm. social media. Yeah. Utalia. My friends, out there, manze, najua, hii ni mambo ya kuchesklaut hapa kila siku, oh, ati mii nataka sujiwa, mesema nifanya, I want to do everything. Please, never, wema, hawa watu wa kutaki mema. So tafadhali to chunga la But but at the same time I think it's when when you give people too much feeling mm -hmm. of you, yeah, they end up controlling you. Look mm -hmm. at that. As in wazi post kitu mpaka na amani. Ukiweka tu hivi, umekonda sana, umefanya nini? Ukiweka tena, umeongeza sana. Why? Yeah. And again, you know, you are a celeb. Celeb is like different now. Ah, okay. ah. So, you are not by my fans. Do my fans know na? When I make a cool venue. No, but wait, sister, where are you? What's the DJ side? So, say, no, 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 me na ambia we maachana raia. Yeah. Haa watu watakuwest. Yeah. Uta sawa, anisha kubali kuingia kwa hiyo wa industry. Kwa ki change change. No, but then, maybe yange kubali the first time. Maybe yange kuwa pa maliko. Why you laughing? Lakini nige troll. 
Oh. Wow. <laughs> yani sija sema ni tatrol lakini wacha wacha kufurahisha watu wema wachana na watu that's the idea first of all <laughs> body shaming is not allowed why the land of body shaming is not allowed wacha tu watu wako vile wanataka if you want to be like you know thick that's fine if you want to be petite i think that's okay too how many adre lakini unajua wema pia anafuata venye diamond ana do aha sasa so, una diamond anafuata mafans sa diamond akakuwa scandal sasa yeye anataka kukuwa hivyo sasa so, i think she's doing this for publicity eh yeah, ni publicity tu na sasa yeye after watu wameongea sana akadelete ama bado inampatia tu views youtube hizi ni kiki ziko na nini kiki zimeenda shule hii hadi una konda juu ya raia wengine wameenda shule na inaitwa public figure no but then there's a time um there's another there's a blog ya tz they were claiming that when my went for surgery na hivyo watu wenda liposuction kutoa mafuta kwa mwili sio ni nini ni so for her she didn't go for liposuction she went for some sort of operation i don't know so much about it but i'm told they sort of messed with her intestines in a way that akikula tu food kidogo ameshiba so she can't over eat unakula kidogo hivi sio ili reduce intestines or something like i don't know how that works but there's some sort of um operation that in our kivo like unaenda alafu una una reduce what ivi unaridisi wa matumbo or something so ukikula tu kidogo hivi unasikia umeshiba you can't overeat so that's why it's, it's she's she's like this i don't know how true that is wema mm-hmm. ni socialite bado sio nada ama socialite wa kenya yeah. vera na bleach na kwa kweli kuna na crowd na socialite unaenda na demand eh so the socialite wanafanya hivyo ni public figure So uh-huh. what people want you give people what people want. Wewe yeah, endelea kuwapea. Hata no, sasa ndio nalikuwa. You know at some point you are unajua watu wanaenda ngai even then people actually die. Yeah. And anorexia is real. Like people suffer from this. Unajua kuna watu like they're allergic to food. Like wanaenda tutakula hivi anaanza kulia like because it's like really bad. Yep. Anorexic people like they think in their head what are they on no na mtu ni mdogo kabisa but they think like they are fat so they just like keep reducing food and, and reducing i don't know if like people literally die because you've starved too much i love you so, kitu kitu ni nini ni alad ni ni addictive kukonda ah ah hiyo stuff ya kufanya vitu juu watu kuvamba hey, wase hey, ni addictive alafu yeah. unaangalia venye ma social light wenzako wana do Mm. Pia unataka kutrend. Na trend. Eh, yeah, unataka kutrend, unataka kufanya nini? That's why wana do hivyo. Watu wa kibleach, wewe yeah, pia yeah. unaenda huko. Wakisema sasa watu wa kibleach, wewe uta bleach, wewe uta konda. Oh. Bora bleach. kuna mtu hata huwezi reverse kuna vitu wazi wema anaweza naona akitaka. Yeah. Anaweza naona hata tunaweza mpia supplements. Yako sawa. Hiyo ndio. Anaweza kula. Anaweza kula. Hii rangi. <laughs> rangi <it's dark. laughs> Hii rangi sidai. Hii pengine bado hawezi jua mse mwenye wako na yeye mwenye ana mdate sasa hivi. Mm. Maybe anataka slim. Uja, uja so, lazima, lazima lazima pia anaweza <laughs> anadu kitu kubamba. No 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 no. no, no. Okay, no but, but guys, let's just uh, what about advice is be yourself. Do what you got to do for <laughs> you. <laughs> If it makes you happy, do it. <laughs> Don't do anything for anyone. Don't ever change yourself for anybody, right? <laughs> anyway, let's not chef anyone alafu muachane and then what happens? Anyway, on to the next story. Hata watu wanachoranga tatu. Ah, tumeona wengi. Kuna chore nyingine tu. Tumeona wengi. Now the Aries Frasha is not Okay, one meeting. Hashtag is white for for updates, right? Now Kenyan artist Frasha is now among people demanding justice for late Shanti who was killed during the Night Fest event that was held earlier this month. Most youth are now joining hands with some celebrities to somehow find justice for Shanti's parents through the hashtag Justice for Shanti. The event organizer come um, socialite Brigitte Cheng distanced herself from his death claiming that she was alerted of uh, a boy who wasn't in a good state and she used her friend's car to get him to uh, to 
get him help uh, at the hospital but didn't further clarify what happened when they got there. Her claims have, however, been refuted by social media users who claim that Shanti was allegedly killed by... Uh, by the events bouncers who beat him up and left him for dead we already actually have a video for that we're going to just show you a snippet let's have a look all right we're going to be rolling up our video in a few but i don't know if you guys have seen that video it's actually right here so Quite event, even the surface, it shows like him being beaten up. Like, and I'm not sure if it's him because we can't like clearly see his face, but it's alleged that this is what was happening. Because the event, it was messy. So many people, shout out to Ktak, our own Masai, Mazewa, who are Simu. Me and my son went with his friend, who's a friend of mine, Willy. Akaibua pia simu. Like Shaq the Angel, shout out to Shaq. Pia yali pigwa na akaibua simu. Like it was, it, it was crazy. It was a crazy event. But unfortunately, someone lost their life, and it's not just someone. It's a youth. Yali and Atuku have fun. You get. Now this is what uh, uh, Frasher said. He said, the blood of this young man shall not go in vain. I'm looking for the parents of Shanti. Those who bet him, uh, who beat him brother, to death must be brought to, uh, must brought to book and face the law. Kindly help me find the parents. And then we can see like, okay, for is, is an artist, he's a hip hop artist, artist, and I make a hashtag for Shanti. So those are just some of the celebrities that are speaking out. I don't know. What are we thinking? Look at this guy, man. Nimi Young. I love Sir event organizer. Like, why didn't they have ambulances and stuff like that to help people? Why? But I think we need we need a lot when it comes to our events. Yeah. It's not the first event to meskia ni EGM ya wezi. To meskia mingi. Mm -hmm. Zina kuanga tu ni EGM za wezi. Mumeenda huko, mumefika. Sijui mumeenda rege hapa, sijui wapi. Ime happen. Yeah. Mumeenda sijui wapi, ime kuwa. It's a trend in the Kenyan entertainment scene that when we're having events that have such big numbers, our security uh, things and, uh, you know, zile vitu za response, first aid, vitu ambazo zinafaku kuwa on standby. Sisemi ya zikuagi, but... Mm -hmm. You know, there is a laxity even when it comes to them being considered. Yeah. You know, utapata tunapiga stage ingine muenda pale hivo. Stage, sounds, screens, yeah. ma, aje, wasewa partners, mm -hmm. but utasikia ma partners wengine. You know, utasikia watu wa ambulances wakiwa kwa part of the partners. I don't know why. I think our event organizers maze, as you're approaching big brands, approach hospitals, approach teams that are considered to that line and justice for shanti. Kijana yeah. liumia. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alikalendo <laughs> 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 Like, he didn't do that, but then I like, I was 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 like, actual police officers who you can identify in the crowds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the government does its job to provide uh, plain clothes police there, but the bouncers are the visible security people there. They're the only people you see. Yeah. So they sometimes want to assert their presence. You know, wana, wana mm. wana but, but, but how safe are we? we to know to and he's, he's performing. Yeah. You're, 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 you're,
but then umesha hapo kwa hiyo yeye na unajua yeye ndo member ngoma tuko sherehe na itaki hasira hasira but unaenda uko una pigo na hasira nyingine jani mdogo sina ni juzi pia ile nyingine ya red sun nakumbuka hata ile ya red sun ile soja tumevamiwa ilikuwa kitu kama hiyo they do so the same but then yeye ni red sun alikuwa anapiga msedo but then yeye ni kama asimpia sana kama na ongele kusu watu wanachukulia body yao ati juu sawa kwa na hiyo ma six pack sijui mm-hmm. nini au ameka security right. sasa mkikuja club mjibambe muende bila fuja unajua bouncer wana gani kaja fanya job au wanalipwa for nothing wana lipwa for nothing so lazima wakuguze guze wa kuchokoze ndio waonekane yeah. but should they be held accountable though if they are the ones come like leo video imeonyeshana au ndo walifanya huko jana like aka lose life okay? because i think by the time he was taken to the hospital it was too late you get and then the parents are here i would do what maybe attack to come home kusema nenda wapi unaona and they want answers and moving forward how safe are we in going to events like this unafubado pia na la mama pero pia sabu huyu tena kana mzazi sio ni mtoto pia huyu ni mtoto wa mzazi bado si mse yeah. ati anakaa kwake anajimekia decision mm-hmm. so parent anakana mtoto hii na ajui mtoto hii anaenda api ati ameenda kujibamba hajafuatilia anaenda api world. unajua pia hiyo ni uzazi wazazi wengi wameacha walimu job na sasa hiyo walimu hawayuko job yeah. so ndio na sasa hizi kuna maizo ma stories zinatokea mbaya mbaya hiyo pia na blame mzazi Right. in a way yeah it's yeah, it kind of justifiable kidogo a little bit a little bit but then the kid is dead yeah, then is who needs to be held accountable is it the event organizer is it the bouncers who beat him to death is it the hospital that didn't treat him in time what happens is philin yeah. when for instance when you in this country kitu iko happen here and you're a foreigner whoever is held accountable is the highest person in that country so if it's an event the organizer cuz yendo alitafuta bouncers so if anyone is supposed to be held accountable so that it can trickle down up to a point where we can know who actually did what was done we should start with who how ni akina nani ulileta kama ma bouncer yeah. then we start going down and profiling you might find that they were actually not even bouncers they were criminals okay you might find it that way so, yes wameza ya kwenda hapo na mili in events like those they wear suits you think they are the bouncers and labda wana kwa labda walikuwa na ibia ukijana lakini pia bouncer wanafaa kujua cause mkiye kwa ma bouncer mnajuana no but you kujana mse mwingine pia na ka bouncer lakini si bouncer hapa si mnajua na lazima mjue oh, oh, mimi nimeona vitu kaa hizo zikitendeka yeah. watu wana kujana mili mm. wameingia place you would actually think they are the actual bouncers of the place and they will do vurugu and leave because the worst that the other bouncers can do is fight yeah and watu watapigana si watu wa kutoana nje yeah. hii ni vita so we'll find the other bouncers staying away and letting that happen happen and then ending up later so tutakusema tu ni ma bouncers walifanya We Sorry. need to go down to it and realize that the events is going in a police than bouncers. Right? Yeah, no, uh, but your uniforms. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's hear your opinion. I don't know what you think about this story, but all in all, when the rest in peace, Shanti, rest in peace. Shanti, rest in peace. Like and we just want to wish your friends and family, we we're sending out our condolences mm-hmm. to your friends and family. May they find peace during this trying time. And anyway, um we'll move on to the next story where the president of our African Comedy, Eric Mundi, <laughs> is now appealing to Kenyans to help him find a good wife to marry and settle down with since he is excelling in all aspects of his life after what got out tens of uh, tens of uh, women are now applying to become his wife by sending the application videos on a whatsapp number he provided as eric Uh, reports them on his socials for his followers to help him choose now aside from that the controversial comedian clapped back at Ezekiel Ntua after he called him out for exposing himself too much with his latest posts Ezekiel asked Eric to rate his videos 18 plus before posting them since they may be misleading to children we have a video i believe like in the older african traditional setting Uh, young men like myself were helped by the community to get a perfect wife so if you're out there uh, in bungoma busia eldoret nyeri kisumu kakamega mombasa kilifi kwale even tanzania or even uganda Ladies, Eric and Adafta Bibi but before we talk about that let's have a look at what Ezekiel Mtua told him and Kenyans we- and people are doing all manner of some including some people like Eric Omondi unashangaa wewe ni mwendawazimu ngani kuna kuna heshima gani unajionyesha kwa video 
kwa njia ambayo haifai na wewe ni mtu mzima na unasema at wewe ni African King of Comedy in Africa. Sa King of Comedy si unjie shimo basi. King of Comedy si wewe na heshima kwa watoto. Na hizo vitu ufanye then you put a disclaimer ni za watu wazima. And people are doing woman of some including some people like Eric Omondi. Unashangaa wewe ni mwenda wazima ngani wewe? Kuna Right, that's what KFCB boss Ezekiel Ntua said, right? And in response, Eric Alimambia Ivie, Dr. Ezekiel Ntua, this is your last warning, yeah? I, okay, this is not the way to address the president of an entire continent. Stop using my name for these cheap publicity stunts. I have never understood exactly what you do for a living. You have not helped the entertainment industry in any way. So you flew all the way to Mombasa to do this press conference. Hiyo pesa unginipatia ni ongeze nazo cameras kwa studio zangu so that we can shoot more videos for young talented Kenyans. Please visit Eric Homoni Studios and see what we are all about uh, to do to help young and upcoming talents. Don't ever address me or use my name again. You don't know my story. You don't understand my process. We, makasiriko. Yani, like, no, no one is letting it rest. So, first of all, let's talk about Bibi Kwanza, and then we're going to talk about, like, Kuva and everything. Like, what is happening? You know what happens? There's the bachelor. You, you, you groom particular women. You put them in one house. I don't know. But right now, in Kenya, Erika is going to play Bibi no WhatsApp. So, Dennis. <laughs> there's a thing you are No, there's a thing you are touching. Pale. Yeah. You are the bachelor. The yeah, bachelor. the bachelor. You are the bachelor. Yeah. I'll tell you for free, the whole thing, Eric, him going, uh, what's on here, okay, Kwenda, Nini, Kwenda, na abs and everything, he has clarified it's for a different gig altogether. Yeah. But he, okay, Kutafuta Bibi, Eric Omondi, na Ezekiel Motua, it's all about clout. And ladies and gentlemen, out there, there's a show coming up, and I have seen even Bonfire Adventures Wakondani. It's a whole gig. Ni kubwa. Yeah. Ni kiki kubwa. Wame tupangia kiki international. Sisi tukwa pa kituna process ati watu natumania. But then those ladies who are sending videos, they are actual videos, by the way, watu wako desperate kuolewa hivyo hiku inje. No. Uh, 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 uh. Let's make a point. Siu kuolewa tu. Kuolewa ina mse ya kona pesa and he's famous. You get? There's a difference. Not just getting married. You see, Erika Mwani kwanza kwa posta mesema, like he already has, he has everything. Kituwana tu ni bibi. Sindi mimi na Ulisa. Ah, sana ni hawa na watu. but kuna vitu wana do kidogo hiyo si comedy si go wewe una ame cross line kama sasa kuna ingine alikuwa anaogelea akiwa uchi anaogelea na watoto unaona hiyo ni hiyo si comedy truth hiyo ni kutafuta attention unaona si wewe umesema like once you're in the spotlight you do what you have to do to remain relevant so si ende socialite sasa ni vile tu ni boy ama sometimes pia una respect vitu zingine as in hiyo kunaona kukonda ku bleach iko sawa ni normal lakini ni kitembea uchi ati sema lakini lakini okay let me ask you something why the double standards though still na ngoma demo kwa kwa instagram all my instagram models wame post na nini na bikini how come kuna mtu anawasumbua anga ni kwa mwende kipost tu na na boxer you guys all of a sudden have a problem kitu wa mjuangi ni kenya watu kama we ni celeb tulikujua aje Yeah. Manze tuko kitu moja na kitu moja na fuzi. Ukiwa celeb tulikujua aje. Kila celeb tulimjua 
na kitu fulani yeah. tulikujua kama msanii tulikujua kama comedian stick to your lane kilo 25 eh, fanya kitu tulikujua ukidini sisi sisi kufanya vitu vingine ujite multi talented ukaspoil alaribu brian ukaspoil stick to your lane mzee tutakuwa appreciate hivyo ni kama i don't know i think that's some any simple a comment by a shout out to man jeb he's always tuned in and i said mom kumbere kwa mandi was never happy with his skinny body it's just like the way those of us who are obese <laughs> we don't to be comfortable in my skin yet we cannot climb two flights of stairs without panting and we hate but we got to put on a brave face iko hapana iko film imekuwa gaivi wacha niwaambie by the way hata sisi tuko na six pack Duko na vile iko Mungu ni mtu mzuri sana akaamua hapana hii mambo ya kutupea alafu tuoneshe wacha tukave protective layer hii kitu inakubalika. Sasa ni 6 pack ni kitu protective layer. Iko na protective, protective layer hapo. Protective layer ambayo inaeleweka. So, guys, just yes. to be clear, whatever you are seeing on uh, Dennis, <laughs> you think it can be any protective layer. Yes, yes. Ina protect 6 pack. Hata police wanafaga bulletproof. Ni nini? <laughs> na wako sawa. Hii ni ya kuzuia hizi vitu. Wewe unacheza na hii vitu. You cannot just go around. I recommend you to stop making us look bad boy. Right. Stop. One thing, one thing online. Ribu. One thing of line mm. like people anya unasikia vile imani amesema mm. ukinona nao unataka kukonda ukikonda unataka kunona si ni life <laughs> so si ndo si ndo kuna Sina. kuna artist alimba anataka kutosheka mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. si tosheka tosheka <laughs> <laughs> venye just be happy uh, be happy be, be happy the way you are Ka, because I, i don't think we'll ever be satisfied that's when unanga watu kishanza surgery unafanya mm. hii una fix hii you just keep fixing until you become an addict right yeah. anyway let's head over to another story now a video is making rounds on social media of a white man being beat up by black uh, petrol station attendants for allegedly calling them monkeys now in the video you can see the angry men using sticks fists and uh, kicks to assault him and he even at some point appeared to be hit by a car that was moving at a slow pace but managed to get up it is however still not clear where the incident took place but some social media users claim it's namibia oh. all right so we have a video maybe we're going to be rolling it out uh, in a while i'm not quite sure my director is going to be telling us But you guys have seen that video. Mm-hmm. So, kuna mtu mzungu fulani ako petrol station. Ana watu unajua kwanza ni usiku. Unajua? Ni usiku. Tuga, it's at night. People are working at night. They are frustrated. Wao unaenda uko na waambia at mount Kavu. Kuna Kavu na wako nje usiku. Imagine, unaenda kuwatukana. Unaenda kutukana. Like what's wrong? Wao ndio wacho kwa na hasira. But then I, I I really do not understand. I don't know. I think it is just like um it's 2020 maze racism. I feel like we should be way ahead of that. I don't know what's happening but what's your take? I have a problem with that uh, whoever brought up that story because kuna kitu you know one we could not be so sure that he had called the monkeys. Just, you know what? Just yeah. hold that thought. You see, like we have a lot to talk about when we come back but first things first. Let's take that break. It's going to be very short. We're coming right back. Why okay. <laughs> 254 Imagine. Now, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. The hashtag is Y254 updates. Now, just before you took a break, we played you that video. Man, wewe mzungu alikuwa amechapwa. Jo amenda watu ni usiku watu wako wera unaenda unawaita ati monkeys. Really, that coming from a white person is very racist. But then it's not my place to speak. So, we were on you, monkeys. Iko hivi. Mimi mm-hmm. by this June kwa nini? I don't believe he called them racist. Hiyo sio monkeys, hiyo sio vita ya monkeys. Sasa watu wanajuana kuna vile wanajuana. The, the, the back story to this thing is just mm-hmm. being put out to look that way. Yeah. And if it, that was the scenario, that was a very bad reaction from those guys. Unfortunately. What? Yes. So you don't think No, no, no. no. Uh-huh. Philip, wacha tu kwetu. Let's be fair. Yeah. When it's done to a black in the white country, we go up in arms. But when it's done in reverse in our country or in our African continent we want to laugh about it who is being racist now See only we are all racist anyway thing is kama alivurugwa na alivurugwa apigwe vita apigwe vita kitu walifanya lakini asiitane monkeys 
I don't know. Mtu uh, akikuita manki hata kama ni si mzungu what will be your reaction? Africa can see tunakuangana emotions. Skin yetu iko na emotion tu. Msemi kutusi kwanza tupendi kubebwa ndogo. Eh hiyo ndio shida ya sisi wa Afrika. Sawa sawa kwa tu sawa. Sawa. But then, anyway, I do not advocate for violence in ways. There are better ways to deal with issues. When I'm telling them, I love Olympic Games. You know, I got food I hope that's not the case. But then, please, racism has to stop. It's 2020, right? Anyway, let's move on to another story. Now, <laughs> well, now a controversial socialite Costa star at a Nigerian wedding by showing up with six pregnant women Ati. who he claimed were all carrying his children. Oh. Now, known as P Pretty Mike, the wedding uh, guest told his... Uh, Quite a million Instagram followers that the photo was no film trick and they are just living their best life. Describing the women as his six baby mothers to be, he was filmed filling each of their baby bumps as they waited in line at the wedding. Now, Pretty Mike is allegedly said to have been arrested in 2017 for putting female guests in chains and walking them on leashes to a wedding. And of course, he does not mind having multiple relationships with the different women. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> you guys can see that. <laughs> 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 No, so maybe atafanya DNA after we are So six of them. Now look at this. And some Lagos Zaddy live. I don't see daddy Zaddy, yeah. Their father, they daddy, and some uh and, as, uh, and his six baby mothers to be no film trick we're just living our best life you see <laughs> okay it is finished bye what's going on here like people are not even getting it i thought you guys loved polygamy senior what do i sit at a go Nenye tu liko muuliza ile story ngine. Hey. Kwani madem shida yao ni gani? Na na madem pia si kuna kuangana ile jealous chali yako ana cheat sijui mm -hmm. unamuua. Kwani shida ni gani siku hizi? Ukiwa na do wanakubali uchiti. Ukiwa maskini hawataki uchiti. Kwani so <laughs> see maybe he has you know, imagine maybe kwa nao wote amebaya kila mtu nyumba yake, kila mtu gari yake. So maybe they're just happy. You get? Maybe wewe uko unaishi kwa bed sitter, kuna mtu amekwambia na anakuomoa na kupeleka kare. Una kaimu unaangalia wewe it is very possible but it's very possible anaweza shikanisha hii ini sio bet imeingiana hivi yote anakuwa multimillionaire but at the same time does it even make sense like at unajua hizo mimba ni kazi natoshana zote ama you see we got a social light you get ama nitafuta anaweza kuwa alilipa wasichana na tafuta tu mimba zinatoshana hivyo ndio aende ashai i want ladies who are 5 months ama 6 ama 7 months pregnant na wako wote wana same like what maybe same skin tone unajua wote alafu wote wako wa was slim unaona umeona hapo dem anaka mwenye ako na mimba na amenona no ni moja tu lakini si kunaona ni ni baby ni, ni baby fat mm -hmm. e, lakini wako sawa alright kama ni ukweli mm -hmm. jamaa peana peana hii leakage ah, lakini madem wetu afrika tubadilisheni venye tunaangalia love manze tunaangalia love vibaya hati mtu akiwa na pesa mnaweza mm. kuja kwake hata wengi na mko fit mtu akiwa maskini akikucheza unamchoma na maji ah tubadilisheni hiyo <laughs> perspective kama unataka wasewa kwa polygamy hata wenye wana ka kitu inakubaliza <laughs> social media where can people find you me manze on facebook dj bantu254 na instagram honest bantu all right mwangiz the mwangiz sasa hiyo jina nita adopt officially yes nimeshukuru sana you guys it's been real Find me on Instagram at Dennis underscore Bob Miner and on Facebook at Dennis Miner. 
Tujibabe ama namna gani? Mwangizi ni hapa ni ya ofisi ya headmaster ama namna gani? All right, that's what's up. Now, you know where to find me at Philin Jin across all socials. It's been fun hanging out with you. Shout out to each and every one of you guys that, that tuned in. Bianca, we see you. Eman James, we see you like always. Shout out to Janet, HRH, Lynette, Joy. I also want to shout out our technical crew. There's Sue, there's Maurice, there's Timo. Uh, I don't know who, uh, who else, who else, who else, who else. Like, I just let's say everybody that made the show possible. We appreciate you guys, but we're going to see you. Oh, we're going to shout out mbogi tu uko nje na niangalia ni wengi nani wanajua tu boy wako hapa ni wagote alafu kwanza dota wangu chelsea agoteke tu sana sana pia hapo hi chelsea alafu na mabeste zangu akina pita kina nani kila mtu tu uko nje wenye wana watch all right it's been fun shout out to you fei thank you so much for holding us down it's been fun shout out to the whole crew jc ena kwa mombasa shout out to you and uh, ron and mck and uh, junil the whole gang gang we're gonna see you again next week hopefully with another better show